Before we get started there's a special discount link for Serenity Prime in the description of this video. God, make it stop. Father Simmons, please make it stop. Whooshing, buzzing, clicking. I could hear them all at the same time, drilling through my skull and driving me crazy. While I was covering my ears, screaming blue murder and hoping it would be enough to drown out those horrible noises in my head. But it was just getting louder and louder. And I felt so nauseous, so drained of energy that the priest in front of me looked like a blur. As he placed his hands over my ears, I clutched at my stomach, struggling to steady my breathing. Pray with me, he demanded. And I did. But when he finally removed his hands, the ringing was completely gone. I was at my lowest point that night because of my tinnitus. And I want you to know my story because if you have tinnitus, it will get worse. And it's just a matter of time until it happens to you. But as you're about to find out, the hell I went through wasn't for nothing. I've come to realize that it was all God's plan for me. That maybe he chose me to deliver this 100% natural and inexpensive method that will finally clear the crippling, ringing, and restore your hearing. A miraculous remedy that the big pharma Pharisees would kill to keep hidden. Because it will allow you to take the matter into your own hands and reclaim your peace and quiet. So stay with me because in the next five minutes, I will tell you all about why tinnitus has absolutely nothing to do with your ears and is instead the disturbing sign of a deeper, more terrible issue happening in your brain right now. Why deaf people still get tinnitus, even though their ears can't hear a thing. Why you can't hear the ringing while you're asleep and how this can actually be the key to silence the ringing even when you're awake how this common device found in your kitchen triggers tinnitus. And you'll find out everything about the sacred sound that has been used for centuries to get into direct communication with God himself. And that has been deemed music of the divine service by King David. Now you might be wondering, what does that have to do with tinnitus? And you'll get that exact answer in just a moment. But first, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Adam B. Davis, and I'm here to bring the holy truth to your ears. And I have one request for you. Forget everything you thought you knew about tinnitus. If you think that sounds dramatic, let me ask you a few questions. How many doctors told you there was nothing they could do? How many pills did you have to swallow, hoping the hellish sound would be gone? How much did you spend on hearing aids? Did they work? didn't think so. That's because we all know the pharma companies are all owned by the Lord of Lies because they bow to the Lord of Money. They would do anything in their power to keep you weak and fearful so they could keep stealing your hard-earned dollar. This is why the method you're about to find out is so controversial, because it will give you the power to fight back the roaring, whooshing, and buzzing in your ears. You'll be able to conquer the horrid sounds in your ears no matter your age or the severity of your illness. So whether you're 22 or 92, whether you're hearing just a low hum or a high-pitched hissing, I believe this method will work for you, and I know how unbelievable this sounds. I know that every single doctor crushing your hopes by saying there's nothing you can do, that's why it's so important you stick with me till the end of my presentation because I will reveal to you how to hit the mute button on the roaring, buzzing, and whooshing in your ears so you can finally enjoy a normal life. I mean, just imagine being able to get a good night's sleep again or enjoy your favorite songs or movies. Don't you want to revel in peace and quiet once more? Don't you want to be able to concentrate or finally spend some serene time with your family? If your answer is yes, then this video is for you specifically. I truly believe it will help you, just like it helped James M, 50, from Florida, who says, I had a very difficult case of tinnitus. The buzzing was so high-pitched that I could barely sleep at night. But after trying this method, I can safely say it's nothing short of a miracle. I'm also more calm and I feel like nothing can bother me anymore. I could never repay you for what you've done for me. Thank you, thank you, a thousand times, thank you. Or Miriam H, 42 from Illinois, who wrote to me and said, Adam, 
I didn't believe a single word you said. Clearing my hearing in just a few short weeks without hearing aids or drugs. Come on, I've heard it all before. But my husband kept insisting I give your remedy a chance. I had this incredibly annoying whooshing sound in my right ear and bad migraines. But after trying this, it's all gone. I'm still in shock and amazed at how this changed my life. You have lifted this curse. Adam, bless you and bless your soul. Or Stephen T, 56, from Los Angeles, who told me, I worked in loud environments my whole life, and by the end of my career, all I could hear was a loud bzzz in my ears. Hearing aids helped for a while, but all they did was mask the sound. It was still there, always, annoying me. I could barely enjoy my life after retirement. It was horrible. But after trying your method for about six months, the ringing is finally gone. My headaches are history, and I'm getting the best sleep of my life. Thank you, Adam. I owe you big time. All these people put their faith in me, and it paid off. And before I ask you to do the same, you need to know how I got here. As I said, my name is Adam B. Davis. I'm 49, and I work as an electrical systems engineer in the big city of Boston, Massachusetts. I moved here exactly two years ago from the small town of Stockbridge after getting an offer for a better paying job. My wife, Mary, who's an expert plant breeder, also got a huge opportunity to work for a homeopathic facility in Boston. This way, we could finally help our son go to a good Christian college. But little did I know, this was about to be the biggest mistake of my life. You see, I'd been hearing a faint hum in my ears ever since I was a teen. I just assumed everyone's ears made that sound, so I didn't give it much thought. The problem was, as soon as I moved to Beantown, this humming sound started getting a bit louder. In a week, I was hearing a faint buzz before it turned into a whooshing and finally, full-blown ringing. At first, I assumed this was temporary. I thought that because I moved to a noisier city, my ears needed some time to adjust. But it wasn't that. After a couple of months, I started to get really worried. I was so stressed, I could barely sleep. I would only get three to four hours of rest before I'd wake up again, and once woken, it was hell to fall back asleep. As you can probably imagine, this started to affect my work. I had to ask my clients to speak up every time they had a request. One time, I was so distracted by the whooshing that I almost messed up an entire power generator. I decided that I couldn't let this tiring sound mess with my job. After all, I wanted to offer my son the best education he could get. And, just like everyone, I wanted a quick fix that would allow me to get back to work. So I did what everybody would do. I started with some hearing aids that didn't even work. All they did was mask the phantom sound in my ears, and the cheapest ones I could find were $1,000. Next, I tried drugs. But these could only tone down the sound for a couple of days until it came back. I even tried Xanax at some point, but I almost got hooked on it and barely escaped addiction. I also tried meditating, and while it did calm me down a bit, the ringing was still roaring in my ears. Hell, I even conquered my deathly fear of needles and went for acupuncture. But having 30 needles shoved in my ears did nothing. In fact, they brought along a pulsating sensation of rushing blood. At some point, my wife even suggested I should see a faith healer. She'd been reading about it. But even though I believed in God and his miracles, the engineer part of me had a hard time believing this would help. Nothing seemed to work, and the bad news just kept on piling up. After countless hearing tests, audiograms, ear probes, and needles that felt like they could reach my brain, all of the doctors I visited told me that there was absolutely nothing wrong with my ears. At first, I couldn't believe it. If there was nothing physically going on with my ears, why was I hearing these terrible sounds? Why was I unable to shut them down with pills or with hearing aids? None of the doctors could answer these burning questions. So I took the matter into my own hands. I joined the biggest discussion forums, Reddit, Tinnitus Talk, Sound on Sound, I mean, you name it. If there was a place on the internet where people talked about tinnitus, I was there. I spent countless hours 
on those websites, talking to people and asking for opinions. Some told me that my tinnitus could be caused by very loud noises, but that couldn't have been true because while the city was pretty noisy, it was nowhere near enough to cause this. Others told me it might be caused by earwax blockage, but all that probing doctors did to my ears proved it all wrong. Besides, that's also known to run in the family, and as far as I knew, my elders were as healthy as horses. While I did this, my tinnitus got worse every day. Sometimes I would even hear four different sounds all at the same time. It felt like there was constant fighting in my brain. Can you imagine how horrible it is to fight against the ringing just so you can hear what your wife is telling you? And speaking of my wife, my mood was so bad that I even started yelling at her. My dear Mary, bless her soul, even had to intervene one time when I snapped at our son for chewing gum too loudly. This was not a way for a man to live. If it got any worse, I feared I would end up in a mental facility. Just picturing myself in a straitjacket or tied to a bed was enough to scare me to death. And God knows how bad the conditions in psych wards are. The caregivers are anything but nice. The conditions are absolutely inhumane. And worst of all, I wouldn't have been able to see my family. I didn't want to end up like that. Just another faceless crazy who tells everyone that he keeps hearing things. And slowly but surely, I was starting to lose it. I started forgetting things. My son's birthday, gone. My wedding anniversary, erased. It was also getting harder for me to hold a normal conversation. Every time someone would talk to me, I would lose focus and zone out. This sound followed me everywhere I went, driving me insane. All that while struggling not to lose it at my wife's constant nagging to go and see that healer. And the fact that none of the solutions I tried worked made me even angrier. I guess this goes to show just how much modern medicine evolved when it comes to tinnitus, huh? I was at my lowest point, and one night, everything took a turn I didn't expect in my worst nightmares. It was 2 a.m., and the ringing was keeping me awake. I then started hearing three sounds at the same time, each louder than the other. I got up and walked around the room, praying to God it would stop. Do you know what a CRT monitor sounds like? Well, imagine that, but amplified by thousands. I was nauseous. I was angry. I was so tired of everything. Tired of all the doctors who took my money only to tell me there was nothing they could do. Tired of the lies the big pharma fat cats tell us, only to scare us into spending more and more money. Tired of this goddamn sound that drove me insane. So I screamed as hard as I could. And in the next second, my wife was up asking what was wrong with me. But I couldn't answer. I was sitting on the floor holding my head and rocking back and forth like a madman. Tears were flowing down my face as that devilish buzzing only got louder. I saw Mary moving closer to me, so I yelled at her, Call him! Call that healer of yours! Everything was a blur after that. I remember hearing her calling someone on the phone before she asked my son to rush me to the car. All while I was screaming like a madman. When the car took off, I heard my wife speaking. Father Simmons will help you, Adam. You'll see. She had the pedal to the metal while the ringing was mercilessly piercing through my skull. When we finally arrived, I was so tired I could barely walk. But the priest was waiting for us already and helped me to the chair. Then he placed his hands over my ears and we both started praying. And as if by a divine miracle, with every prayer word spoken, the hellish ringing in my ears began to fade away. In just a couple of minutes, it was nothing but a small hum. He then led me to a small room where I eventually fell asleep. I woke up the next morning feeling like a new man. I wanted to call my wife, but I couldn't find my phone. Just as I started to panic, Father Simmons came into the room and explained that they didn't allow technology there because it physically hurt the people. I was a bit confused, but he invited me to a tour of this remote community. It felt a bit like I traveled back into the 1800s, before electricity was even invented. But I also noticed my ringing was still very low. 
Father Simmons then took me to his office, where he posed a great theory that challenged everything doctors told me about tinnitus. What if tinnitus doesn't start in the ear? At first, I was confused. But he then told me that while he worked as an MIT professor, his tinnitus got so bad that it forced him to retire. Of course, no other method worked, so he was forced to find a solution himself. And that's when he stumbled upon a study that he immediately showed me. It was done by a group of ear researchers in Tokyo, and it showed how a woman who'd been deaf for 50 years still had tinnitus. There was absolutely nothing physically wrong. Her inner ear canals were perfectly healthy. So if tinnitus doesn't start in the ear, where does it come from? Well, I was just about to get my answer. As it turns out, tinnitus is caused by this thing our bodies and a TV have in common. You see, your brain uses small electrical charges to pass on information. It's like a little highway where all your thoughts, feelings, and actions are cars speeding through the lanes. The human body is a great electric conductor. We're being electrocuted by small currents every day, and because of that, our bodies vibrate at a certain frequency. Different parts of our bodies have their own vibration frequency, but it never goes past 13 hertz. Even Earth itself vibrates at seven hertz, Father Simmons also said that this is the frequency God uses to communicate with us. But as time passed, this natural frequency got scrambled. You see, in the old times, people lived simple lives in accordance to the Lord. The little technology they had was just enough to get the job done, and it was perfect. That's why you never hear about people in the Old Testament and the New Testament having tinnitus. It simply didn't exist because there was nothing to cause it. But, as Father Simmons then went on to explain, technology kept evolving. And with it, something evil and invisible began to attack us. EMFs, or electromagnetic fields. These are waves of energy and light moving all around us. They come from every piece of modern technology. TVs, radios, internet cables, telephones, 5G antennas. Hell, they're even in your household appliances. So if you've had the occasional microwave dinner, you most likely have been blasted by EMFs right in the safety of your own home. Now, being exposed to these EMFs isn't something new. However, as Father Simmons then told me, the World Health Organization warned that something has changed in the 20th century. Exposure to EMFs has substantially increased. Our bodies are just not able to withstand such technological advancement. He didn't say technology is completely evil, though, and I agreed with him. But it is possible to have too much of a good thing, especially when these EMFs run at a much higher and unnatural frequency than we can handle. Take your mobile phone, for example. This is one of the most common EMF emitting devices, and you most likely have it next to you right now. A recent study published by Biomed Central shows how short-term exposure to mobile phones causes headaches, sleeping problems, and ear flushing and warming. While this other study published in the British Medical Journal shows a clear connection to mobile phones and tinnitus, all these EMFs are interfering with our body's natural electricity and vibration. You see, an interesting thing happens when different vibrating things come closer. They will often start to vibrate together at the same frequency, syncing up. But what happens when these frequencies don't align? They will collide with so much force, they will practically explode in your brain. And when an explosion happens, there's sound and there's vibration. When you're exposed to EMFs every day, you're forcing your body to go through all these mini explosions in a very short amount of time one right after the other. So the brain gets messed up and vibrates at higher, unnatural frequencies that you can actually hear. The buzzing, whooshing, ringing, and howling, they're all the sounds of this unholy modern frequency affecting your brain. And in the past, you would have actually been able to fight it because in his immense grace, God offered us the perfect natural defense mechanism, the human body. 
And this ultimate weapon needs a constant stream of good fuel that we get from the foods and nutrients we gather from nature. But nowadays, everything is poisoned. Let's take an apple, for example. When you bite into it, you also eat six carcinogens, 16 hormone disruptors, five neurotoxins, and six reproductive toxins. That's because they're all grown by greedy, faceless corporations that only care about money, so they inject everything with chemicals to make it look good. As a result, our bodies are rotting from the inside, unable to defend themselves against EMF attacks. So how do you expect your body to balance itself? How can it do that when it's being weakened from the inside out? It's truly the devil's perfect weapon if you think about it. Divide and rule, weaken and conquer. Father Simmons said after he was done explaining, as you can imagine, I was livid after learning all that. But while he told me he couldn't find a cure for this, he assured me that my tinnitus could be gone in a few months if I moved into the no EMF community. While his solution sounded okay, there was no way I wanted to spend the rest of my life there. I had a family to get back to. I wanted to go back to my wife and son and try to become normal again. The days spent in the no EMF community opened my eyes and gave me new hope. If my ringing was so low while being there, I knew there had to be a way to shut it down completely. So as soon as I got home, I started doing my own digging. All while my tinnitus came back with a vengeance. But this time, I couldn't let it take over my life again. I knew there was a solution for this, and I was going to find it. Those days spent in that small, no EMF community really opened my eyes. I felt like I was the chosen one, and I wasn't about to let God down. So I told my wife about my plan, and she agreed to do some research on her part. And at first, things were going slow, very slow. You can imagine how disappointed I was when I kept reading the same things over and over again, but without the smallest hint of a solution. And one evening, as I was browsing through some old books, I found it. A little known study done by Ned Herman in 1997 that said how the human brain is a fully functioning electrical device. It's so powerful, in fact, that it would be able to light a flashlight bulb. And this brain electricity takes the shape of, well, brain waves. Your brain becomes a small hub of waves that come and go, just like trains in a station. When your brain is engaged, it generates beta waves. But I have yet to reach the most interesting part. When your brain is resting or relaxed, such as when you're sleeping, meditating, or praying, it generates alpha and theta waves. These have different frequencies, but never go past 13 hertz. Do you remember how I told you about the holy frequency God used to communicate with his subjects? As it turns out, your brain generates this frequency naturally, by itself. Now, my only issue was getting my brain to create this frequency during the day as well, when I was up and running. I mean, sure, I could meditate and pray and sleep to make the whooshing stop, but at the end of the day, I still needed to stay active and support my family. So I kept digging more. And with the help of my wife, I stumbled upon something truly amazing. You see, during her years as an expert plant breeder, she got quite the experience working with herbs and flowers. I already told you how she was doing her own research as well. Well, as I was telling her all about the brain waves and how they get activated, I could see her eyes lighting up. I knew that look, of course. She always had it when she got a particularly good idea. Wait here, darling. I think I have something for you. She came back with a thick green folder, and as I looked through all the papers, I could feel my excitement growing as well. I mean, take the Magyar Kamala flower, for example. It has always been regarded as a mild tranquilizer and sleep inducer. It's also mentioned in Psalm 103 as a reminder of God's infinite love for us. Or, how the violet petals of the Passiflora symbolize Christ's last days on earth. It's also known to calm your mind, getting you rid of any anxieties or worries you might have. Just like Christ took the sins of mankind on his shoulders. This is it, I told my wife. This is how I'll get rid of this terrible sound in my ears. 
So with the help of her work connections, we managed to get our hands on some of the rarest plants she had on the list. It took us more than we expected to source them, especially because some of them came from a separate continent, but in the end, we had them all. And the more we studied them, the more we found out about their properties and how, when combined and mixed together, they would act in four easy steps. The four silent witnesses of God, if you will. Step one, calm your mind to generate the healing brain waves. You know how I mentioned the healing alpha and theta waves are only generated during states of complete relaxation? Well, there's only one problem with that. You can't really do much because that usually happens when you're asleep, meditating, or praying. So I wanted to create a state of alert relaxation that would allow me to go on with my day while still enjoying the calming effects of the mix. For that, my wife suggested melatonin. It usually helps you get the best sleep, completely relaxing your body and mind. But when combined with the rest of the ingredients, it will strengthen the healing brain waves. Next, we use the Magyar Kamala flowers. And let me tell you, I'm so glad I waited two months to get my hands on them. You see, this plant has been used as an herbal remedy since the time of ancient Greece, and has been mentioned quite a few times in the Bible. It's said to provide closure from God, as our bodies are healing inside and out. But that's not all. In a 2016 study, Kamala was proven to dramatically reduce sleep problems and depression in 40 women. It's a mild sedative, allowing your brain to equalize the alpha and theta waves, retune to the silent frequency, and put an end to the non-stop ringing. Next, the beautiful Passiflora comes into the mix. My wife found out that 35 minutes is the perfect amount of grinding time for this flower, as it allows the phytonutrients inside to fully bloom and achieve maximum healing potential. If you grind it for more than 35 minutes, like 90% of other suppliers out there, it completely loses its healing powers. This purple flower will greatly enhance the properties of Kamala, allowing your brain to tune into the silent frequency twice as fast. For my healing mix, I made sure to source the purest blooms straight from the Andes Mountains. And my wife's advice, I have also added male hops to the mix. This plant is usually used in beer. But my wife and I found out that it helps with relaxation and boosts your healthy brain waves. However, the best hops you can get your hands on are only cultivated during early spring. Are you willing to wait till next March to shut off your tinnitus? Well, you don't really have to because the hops in our mix will put an end to the terrible sounds in your ears in less than a few weeks. All these plants I mentioned are also rich in L-tryptophan. This is a healthy amino acid that boosts the other ingredients' properties while providing quick relief from headaches. I know mine were absolutely unbearable, and I'm sure you're going to appreciate the respite as well. Step two, flush out the whooshing, buzzing, and ringing. It's now the time to improve and clear your hearing. There might be some residual sound left after the first stage, and we want to get rid of all of them. We've got the L-taurine kickstarting this process. This substance has been deemed the wonder molecule by scientists everywhere, and for good reason. A recent study done by the Illinois School of Medicine showed how taurine might heal hearing loss and shut off tinnitus. We've managed to get an extract of this substance from a very rare species of yellowfin tuna that can only be found in the warm waters surrounding Hawaii. But on itself, the L-taurine won't completely heal your tinnitus, so that's why we enrich the mix with magnesium. It's the strongest ally against tinnitus you can get. You see, in studies done by scientists at the Mayo Clinic, magnesium was shown to lessen both hearing loss and tinnitus severity. So you can imagine how strong these two ingredients become when combined in just the right quantities. Step three. Power up your brain for non-stop healing waves. This step will make sure you'll have a super brain so it can tune into the healing waves on demand. Don't believe me? Well, just take a look at what lemon balm can do for you. You might be familiar with it as the balm of Gleed. But this amazing plant will allow you to better concentrate and clear the brain fog so the healing waves are easier to produce. 
It will also get rid of all the tormenting anxiety tinnitus brought into your life. Next, we've added a little plant known as Demon Chaser or Amber Touch and Heal. Researchers at the Institute of Pharmacology and Toxicology in Germany agreed that it's one of the most potent brain boosters you can get your hands on. So of course, it's only being used in some top hearing clinics in Europe. But with the help of my wife's work connections, we managed to get our hands on some of these flowers. And I'm so glad we did, because this type of amber will put your brain in a continuous tinnitus healing mode. After that, the skullcap and ashwagandha bless us with their presence. Ashwagandha is classified as an adaptogen, helping the body and mind adapt to things that cause stress. And with all the EMFs attacking you 24 seven, your brain needs to rest so it can properly fight the ringing in your ears. Several studies have been conducted on ashwagandha's effect on stress levels. In one such study, Patients who supplemented with ashwagandha saw a nearly 45% decrease in their perceived stress scale scores, which means a 45% increase in power for healing brain waves. And when you add the tiny skull cap with its neuroprotective properties to the mix, the pair of them is unbeatable. Last but not least, we have to make sure your brain stays active and healthy, even when you're not putting it to work. So we enrich the mix with GABA and L-theanine extracts to further boost the alpha waves that help your brain repair itself and help you to concentrate better. And the final step, number four, bulletproof your body and mind against these harmful EMFs. A healthy, quiet mind can only be achieved with a healthy body. And if you don't want your tinnitus to ever return, you have to make sure you've got your armor on. Because let me tell you one thing, you can never escape EMFs. So we start building this armor with goji berries, a secret superfood that keeps China looking young. While they're known for their immune boosting properties, only a specific type of berries offer thorough protection against the tinnitus causing EMFs, the wolfberry. This berry variety is only usable after it has been sun dried for 12 days and ground into a fine powder. Of course, to make the effects long lasting, we decided to add calcium, vitamin B6, and inositol. Together, they make an unbeatable trio when it comes to boosting your body's natural defenses, forming a strong barrier that will stand between you and the EMFs. On top of that, you can also be protected from other germs and viruses that could cause deadly diseases. Another thing that makes the formula unique, all the ingredients had to come from the purest sources and in the most effective Forms. Only this way, they could enter my brain quickly, get absorbed fast, and start flushing out the phantom noises in my ears. But we had to see if it really worked. So we started drying the herbs and grinding them down into a soft powder that I could easily take after every meal. And at first, nothing seemed to be happening. Sure, I was getting a bit more sleep, but since I was back into the big city, my tinnitus was still tormenting me. But a couple of days into the treatment, I noticed something different. I was sitting down at the kitchen table, trying to pick up Sudoku again. It had been one of my favorite pastimes, and since my tinnitus got worse, I couldn't do it anymore. But as soon as I laid the first number on the board, I kept going. I kept filling the table up with numbers, and soon enough, I was lost in the game. By the time I got it done, I was awestruck. It had been the first time in a long while that I was actually able to concentrate on something for more than five minutes. The ringing was also a bit duller. It was still there, but it didn't bother me as much as it used to. And in just a few short weeks, the miracle happened. I woke up one morning and the ringing was completely gone. I took a deep breath, expecting it to return. But all I heard was my wife's steady breathing as she slept. I think they fixed my whole brain in just six months. Aside from the tinnitus, I also had brain fog, depression, and I kept forgetting things. Now my mind feels sharp and crystal clear. I'm so focused and calm that my family doesn't recognize me anymore. My head is so quiet and I'm sleeping like a baby all through the night. My older son also takes them. He does not have tinnitus. He takes them for his insomnia and says he can finally sleep now. 
Or Michael O'Hara from Sedona, Arizona, who said, it's like a terrible curse has been lifted. I feel so blessed and alive. I had a buzzing in my right ear and an annoying pulsing sensation in my left ear all the time before I started this treatment. All gone now. After six months, guess what? My brain fog disappeared. As I got older, I used to fear a lot of things like severe memory loss or hand tremors. Not anymore. I feel like I found the fountain of youth or something. Brothers and sisters from all over the United States were reaching out to me about their life-changing experiences because Serenity Prime was working. It was not only muting the terrible whooshing, buzzing, and ringing in people's ears, it was saving lives, giving people more optimism than they'd had in years. And if you watched my video this far, then I think you're ready to join our not-so-little congregation so that you can see for yourself how easy it is to hit the mute button on those phantom sounds. In fact, once you use it, you may be only days away from completely changing your life for the better, clearing the brain fog and getting the best sleep of your life. And no matter how old you are, whether you've been struggling with the big T for years, or you just want to improve your brain's function, or if doctors told you there was literally nothing they could do, you'll forget about having to spend thousands of dollars on hearing aids that don't even work, or about tinnitus drugs that make you dizzy and have you wanting to puke all the time. You'll also be worry-free about brain diseases such as total memory loss, dementia, or Parkinson's, and no more anxiety at the thought you might go crazy, or not being able to enjoy some peace and quiet, or even feeling like a burden on the people you love. There is nothing like Serenity Prime in existence because it's the only 100% natural and proven method to treat the root cause of tinnitus and the effects it has on your brain. It doesn't matter if you thought for sure you were untreatable or if you thought you were never going to shush the terrible sounds in your ears and just came to terms with the fact that you might be put in a psych ward at some point. Be my life back. And given the relief and joy you'll experience once you know that you finally won your hearing back from that devilish frequency, I've realized that there is simply no way I can ask you to pay $397 for Serenity Prime or $297 or even $97 for that matter. Instead, if you act today, while this website is still online, you'll get Serenity Prime, the powerful, holy cleansing ritual for your brain the amazing natural substances and your sanity back for a 100% risk-free investment of just $69. To get started, just click the Buy Now button you see below this video right now. You'll then go to a secure checkout page I've created where you'll enter your order details. And as you're done, you will have Serenity Prime instantly shipped to your doorstep. But if you're ready to get started, and you're truly committed to winning back your health and your sanity, you really do need to act right now. Because once our already small supplies are gone, it will take us three to six months to prepare a new batch, as we're willing to accept only the purest ingredients. Not to mention, you then have to be registered on a waiting list and, well, wait for your turn. But why would you risk this? Especially when Serenity Prime has been proven to work and has now been used by more than 45,500 Americans just in the last six months to heal their tinnitus. People who were once at the point of no return, but who are now leading joyful and normal lives, all because they decided to give Serenity Prime a chance and take it twice a day. And if that's not enough to push you to take action, then I'm pretty sure this next part will. I know how much you want to put an end to this hell you're living in and how important it is to live your life rather than just surviving each day, scared by the thought that you might lose your mind at any moment. I've set up a discounted package system of six bottles of Serenity Prime for you for only $49 a bottle for a total of $294, which is being offered today for as long as supplies last. You also get free shipping on me. Besides, there's one more crucial thing that you need to know. If you miss just one day of Serenity Prime, you risk compromising all the progress you made. 
to heal decades of damage done to your brain by the EMFs, your organism needs to be in a state of continuous healing and recovery. So don't risk running out of Serenity Prime. Again, it will take me three to six months to produce a new batch once the first one is sold out, and you know what you need to do now. Best, Adam B. Davis. Hi, it's Adam again. I almost forgot one more thing while you're still here. People who watch this video for the first time have some common questions. And even though they're definitely amazed by what they've just found, it's helpful for them to have a quick review of the presentation. So I wanna take just a moment to answer some of the biggest questions we get from people before they purchase Serenity Prime. Number one, how does Serenity Prime actually work and why is it so good? It's extremely simple, really. With the rising use of technology, the electromagnetic fields wreck your body's natural frequency, essentially causing tiny explosions in your brain. This is basically why you hear all those noises. For that, you need to activate your brain's alpha and theta waves, and you can only do that in states of complete relaxation. Problem is, you're a busy person and you can't really fully relax 24-7. But in my studies, I've discovered that there are certain compounds and herbs that have the power to trigger the production of alpha and theta waves in your brain without you having to stop and sleep, pray, or meditate. Serenity Prime gives you all of these ingredients proven to activate your brain's healing waves while bulletproofing you from future EMF attacks. It's completely natural, totally safe, and extremely affordable. Number two. Does Serenity Prime work for everyone? Yes, and I pride myself on that. This remedy works for absolutely everyone. So whether you've been struggling with tinnitus for decades or just want to improve your brain's functions, Serenity Prime will work perfectly for you as well. You see, the ingredients in this supplement are so powerful, they can heal decades of tinnitus damage to your brain. Also, it doesn't even matter how old you are. Serenity Prime works at any age. It also functions as a strong preventative tactic. If you start hearing just a very low hum, you can ward it off using this treatment. Because with Serenity Prime, you will shield yourself from EMF attacks so you can rest easy knowing these devilish frequencies will never enter your brain again. Number three, what exactly comes with my order? Once you click the buy now button below, you will have your six bottles of Serenity Prime shipped right to your doorstep. All you have to do is take two pills a day for at least 30 days. It could not be easier than this. Number four, how soon will I see results? Typically, the biggest initial changes are seen in a few short weeks with dramatically improved mental clarity and noticeable memory recall. Over 45,500 people have now used Serenity Prime and the results are proven and true. Number five, how long will this product be available? I can't say. The stocks we have are already very limited and as soon as we run out of ingredients, we'll take this website down for about three to six months. Number six, can you tell me about that guarantee again? Sure thing. My no risk promise to you gives a full 60 days to use Serenity Prime for yourself or a loved one. Just take it twice a day and see the results for yourself. If you're not satisfied two months from now, just email me and I'll refund your investment. Number seven. So how do I get started? Just click the buy now button below and you'll start seeing life changing results in as little as a few weeks from now.